Hello friends. In statistics, we often deal with the terms like median, quartiles, deciles, percentiles. All these concepts of statistics are very important for commerce students as well as for those who are preparing for competitions. In statistics, all we need is little bit of understanding of these concepts so that we can apply the formula without any confusion. Now, once you are aware of these terms, then the application of formula will become very easy. Now, let us understand what median, quartile, decile and percentile is. Suppose this is the data range. This is the 0th item and this is the nth item. So we have in total we have n items and we need to find the median quartiles, deciles and percentiles of these n items. Now first of all we must understand that when we say that this is the data range 0 to n then these are either arranged in ascending or descending order. So very important that you should realize that the items are already arranged in ascending or descending order. Now when the items are arranged then exactly the center that is the value below which 50% of values lie and above which other 50% of values lie. That is the value which divides the data range into two equal halves. This value is called the median. And if you want to relate this median with quartiles, then quartile is made of the word quarter and quarter means 25% so this is 50 percent so this becomes the first quartile that is q1 q1 is that value in entire data below which 25 percent values lie and above which 75 percent values lie this median can also be known as the second quartile because two quarters means 50 percent and 50% means median. So the median or the second quartile is that value below and above which 50% of the values lie. Similarly this value which divides the entire data range into two parts one of 75% and one of 25% this value is called the third quartile. So first quartile, second quartile and the third quartile. So now you should know that the formula for second quartile will be same as the formula for the median because they are synonymous. Now let us relate them to deciles. Now deciles means in blocks of 10%. Now suppose this value is median. Median means 50% or second quartile means 50%. So we can also call this as D5 that is fifth decile means 10 into 5 fifth decile likewise if you talk of this value this is d1 d1 is the first decile it means the value in the entire data range below which 10 percent values lie and above which 90 percent values lie likewise you can have many deciles this is D2 means below which 20% values lie and above which 80% values lie. So once you know the formula for the median, median means it divides the entire data range n into two parts that is n by 2 and if you remember while calculating median we use n by 2 in the formula. Likewise in quartiles Q2 we will use n by 2 and in D5 also we will use n by 2 only because D5 is 50 percent. Now can you tell and estimate which value is this? 
yes you guessed it right this is d9 that is the ninth decile that means it is the value in the data range below which 90% data lie values lie and 10% lie above that particular value so there are 10 deciles uh, 9 deciles to be precise and this is the 10th decile that is the 100% value now for finding d1 d1 is 10% of n so you use n in place of n by 2 we use n by 10 likewise 2 n by 10 9 n by 10 now you can estimate the formula once you know the method of calculation of median then everything is very clear now let's talk of percentiles now see for the median we divided the entire data range into two parts 50% 50% in quartiles we divided the entire data range into four parts that is 25% 25% 25% and 25% so we further divided the data into smaller parts now when we talk of deciles we divided the entire data range into 10 parts each part is one decile this is first decile this is second decile likewise this is the last decile so now we are further dividing the data range into minute parts that is the percentiles so now this is 50% above 50% below so this value can also be called p50 that is 50th percentile so what is 50th percentile 50th percentile is a value in the data range below which 50% of the values lie and above which 50% of the value values lie which is exactly same as the median value or the second quartile value or the fifth decile value so median second quartile fifth decile and 50th percentile actually they are all same and friends now we can estimate the names of all these things which we have written like here also this is 50% 60 this is 70% so d7 right now likewise if you mark here this is d4 so you can mark in the entire data range the quartiles the deciles and now we will talk of percentiles so if this is 50th percentile d1 can also be known as p10 that is 10th percentile so 10th percentile and first decile is actually the same now you can very well judge the name of this q3 in terms of percentiles q3 means the third quarter that is below which 75% values lie and above which 25% values lie so this value can also be known as p75 because it is the value below which 75% values are there so p75 is same as q3 likewise can you tell me the name of d9 d9 means ninth decile that is 90% value lies below this so we can also call it as p90 that is 90th percentile so 90th percentile is that value in the data range below which 90% values lie and above which only 10% values lie so now what is q1 q1 is actually p25 what is d4 it is p40 so 40th percentile or the fourth decile is the same value seventh decile is same as 70th percentile likewise d2 it is 20 percentile so now you can see we have related the median with the quartiles deciles and the percentiles so if we calculate median using the formula l plus n by 2 minus cf upon frequency into the class size h if this is the formula for median then for finding all these things we just need to change this first so suppose we need to calculate the 75th percentile or the third quartile then the formula will be l plus now this is n by 2 n by 2 means exactly half of n that is median q2 d5 p50 the formula is same 
but for p75 this this n will become 75% of n that is 3 by 4 n and remaining things will remain exactly the same so now you can see we are deriving the formula of everything using the basic understanding of median quartiles deciles and percentiles likewise suppose you need to find the formula for seventh decile then the formula will be l plus now seventh decile means 70 percent percentile so 7 by 10 n minus cf upon small f into h everything remains same exactly but this value changes and according to this you have to select the values of cf f and l from the given data so friends i hope this clears a lot of concepts especially class 11th commerce students when they start studying these things you know measures of central tendency and then uh, measures of dispersion then these things are very important for them and basic understanding of this figure will lead to the firm base of so many important concepts of statistics so friends i hope you have now understood what is median and how it is related to quartiles the three quartiles the deciles how many deciles nine deciles and the percentiles obviously 99 percentiles will be there you can find even here you can find 97th percentile so what will be 97th percentile 97 percent values lie below that value and only three percent lie above that value so friends if you have understood it do promote the video among your commerce students and your friends on whatsapp groups and a lot of people uh, studying statistics for competitive exams so that even they can be benefited by this and do not forget to subscribe the channel